I put on a new tire. I went with the same tire. These uh, Motos Tractionator Adventures. This is 8,000 miles here, pretty sweet. And look at this big thick boy. But yeah, 8,000 miles. I bought another one. And I bought one of these. Rabaconda. It's like Christmas around here. I broke down and bought one of these, but this thing's pretty cool. I've never changed my own tire before, but I did three times in one day with this. I put this new tire on and it's leaking through the spokes. So this tubeless system on this tire, it has like a rubber band that goes around. And it didn't look damaged, but it keeps leaking. This rear wheel has leaked on me since I've owned it. That's part of the reason why I bought the Rabaconda, so I could do this stuff on my own and check that inner. It didn't look tore up, but it still leaks. And I tried taping it and I was pushing the air more around. It was worse, so I took it off, taped it again. Kind of an ongoing problem with the KTMs. So I figured I would show you what it looks like because these spoked wheels, it seems like the KTM spoked wheels are prone to leak. They have this tubeless system on it. I always paid to have my tires put on. People would change the tires and say, ah, oh, it looks good, you know, there's no trouble with it. But it would always leak and it's hard to tell, but I basically had to order a new one. Yeah, I just ordered a new one. I thought it was glued at first, but it's not glued. It's just got this like ridges and uh, it fits down into these grooves, right? And seals it up, so. Yeah, I had to get a new one. This is like 50, 50 bucks, Rocky Mountain ATV. But I figured I would show what this looks like. I'm gonna take this off, this rubber gasket, and I'll show you what's underneath it. I just broke it free. And you can see, right? It's like a groove, fits down in the grooves. Oh, there's a rubber, that's a rubber band on there. Another thing is, don't put tape on it. I put Gorilla Tape on it. Didn't do nothing but just cause a bunch of sh junk. You can see I got it off. It unscrews. Alright. But this is what it looks like underneath. This looks pretty good, but... I'm tempted to just caulk all these up all the way around then put this down to try to seal it up. That's what I think I'm going to do. Because I could put the new one on here and do this and then I don't know that it's 100% guaranteed. I feel like I should caulk it just so I don't have to go through this no more. And it wasn't like lined up really. So these things weren't actually over the hole. But right now it's over the hole. Cause some of these have corrosion on them. Like look at this, it's rusting. So what I'm gonna do is clean it up, caulk it, let it sit, all right. Silicone just went all the way around each one, topped it off. Got it all cocked up, it's all dried up. Ta-ta! Some scuffed up rims. You'll have that. <clears throat> I just want it to hold air. It's got a little metal seal. It's got to go in the groove here. So I'm just going to get it started and work it around. Probably not something you want to do all the time. So I'll show this. As you can see, it's just a little... Get that first lip down in there, and then I'm going to tuck this lip down in there. But yeah, I got it all the way around. I got my hole over my hole. Now I just got to tuck this in all the way. All right, so I'm getting this rubber inner liner put in. But basically, I just got a crescent wrench, and I'm rolling it. You almost have to do it twice. You have to push the first part in and then go back and push the second part in. So I'm just getting on top of it and pushing it down. 
I'm not getting in very good on the first shot, so it's probably three times. But you can see the lip. This is what it looks like. I just got the bottom put in there and it's sticking way out. This is what it looks like with with the top of it pushed in a little bit. And then this is what it looks like when you get it all the way in. All right, but you can see there's just a little bit right here it comes out. Push that in. Yeah, push it in and then just work your way around. And I don't know, soap and water might make this easier to do, but I don't want to trap that water underneath this thing. So I want it dry under here. I got it all lay on. Looks pretty good. I just need to put this on. Start putting the tire together. I think this should solve my problem. So this is my brake side, so my tire should be going that way. My arrow is pointing that way. Rabaconda, I like it. Piles up. And just like that, my tire is on. Let me get the bead to set it. I got it all mounted up. It's not leaking anywhere. No spokes, nothing. Not around the rim. Pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with this Rabaconda. Makes it pretty easy, especially for somebody who's never done it before. And that baby is on there. I'm gonna get some more soap bubbles. Just see if we see any difference. We look good. The little rubber gaskets, I guess they get pinholes in them. They don't look like it, they're hard to see, but they leak. And then I put a bigger hole in it, made it worse, and tried taping it. And I think that's the solution. Gotta get new gaskets. And I caulked a around the spokes so and I don't think it's a problem tuning and tightening the spokes from the outside it's just caulked on the inside there so it should be pretty good I tried the stands and stuff a couple times and it would work if it's a super small leak but anything big it doesn't work anyway hope you like the video hope that helps some people let me see what the inside of 790 looks like without taking it apart <laughs> we shall catch you later see you.